Welcome to Little Craft Nest. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to take a single layer image from Cricut Design Space and turn that into a multi-layer image so that you can layer different colors in your project. We are going to be using the contour tool to do this. So let's jump on to the computer and get started. Once you've opened up Cricut Design Space, the first thing we're going to do is insert an image. So click on images on the left hand side and I'm going to search sunflower. And because I like free things, I'm going to click on free on the side. And here is a free sunflower here. If you're interested in this exact sunflower that I'm using, it is called sunflower and the code is MF7275B7. And I'll leave that down below in the description so you're able to search for this flower. And then we can press add to canvas. So here is our sunflower and right now it's just one single layer as you can see in our layers column. It is just simply black. I want to make my sunflower three different colors. So the first thing I'm going to do is duplicate this image three times. So if you go over to the top right of your screen and press duplicate and we'll do that three times. And so now I have four sunflowers. So our first sunflower here, I'm just going to leave this like this so you can always refer back to the original flower. Now for our next flower, what I wanna do is just have the silhouette of our sunflower. So I'm going to go over to the bottom right hand corner where it says contour and you're going to click on that. And right here at the bottom, I'm going to click on hide all contours. So what this will do is get rid of all the shapes except for the outline of our image. So I'm going to click hide all contours and then I'm going to click the X at the top right. And now we just have the silhouette of our sunflower and this is going to be used as our background. Now let's click on our next sunflower here. What I want to do here is turn the inside of each of these front leaves one single color. So we're going to go over to contour again and this time we wanna get rid of our outline and we wanna keep these negative spaces in the middle. So I'm going to just click the center of my flower here. And as you can see on the side here on my canvas, I've got rid of the outline of my sunflower and now I just have the negative space in the middle. But I don't wanna keep all the leaves the same color. We wanna do them in two different colors. So now I'm going to click on the background leaves, each of them individually. We're going to keep this one and then we're going to get rid of this one, keep this one, get rid of this one, and let's just go all the way around our sunflower. You'll notice that the darker gray pieces are the pieces we're keeping and everything that is light gray is gone. And you can see here on the canvas that we just have the negative pieces of the inside of the sunflower. So when you're happy with that, you can go press that X button again. And so we have our second layer here now. So we're going to change this color, let's make it orange. And now we're going to go over to our last layer. So let's click on our last sunflower here, go over to contour. We're going to click on the middle of our sunflower again to remove those outlines. But this time we want to keep these back petals and not the front petals. So we need to click on each inside petal to hide that piece. Sometimes it can be a little tricky to see what is highlighted and what's not. So when you're dragging your mouse over it, just make sure the piece you're clicking on is outlined. So right now my cursor is on this one, but this one over here is outlined. So you might have to just wait a second and let the computer catch up with you. Okay, and I think I did that right. So let's press the X button at the top. And it looks like I missed one petal right there. So let's go back over to contour and let me find that petal right here. Let's click on that, press X again. And there we have all our pieces that we need. Let's change this to yellow. And now what we can do is line our layers on top of our black layer here. And you'll notice this layer is going underneath. So we're going to go up to arrange and press send to front. And now this one will go nicely on top. And we can grab our yellow layer. Let's bring it up. We also have to arrange that one, send to front. 
And there is our new multi-layered sunflower. So we went from a basic outline to a three-layered image. Now, if you wanted to, you could create even more colors. If you wanted each leaf to be a different color, you can do that. You would just duplicate your layers and contour the pieces that you wanted. I hope you enjoyed this Cricut Design Space tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments and I will try to help as best I can. If you're interested in crafting DIY and Cricut tutorials, be sure to hit that subscribe button and press that notification bell. And I hope to see you on more crafting adventures.